discussing something pretty cool over here. Uh, can you do a turtle for me, please? Turtle? Yes. Okay, so like, I'm sure a lot of you Donnie Blue students know the truck. Right? It's a banana split position. Sir. I got calf slicers and banana splits and back attacks. But the cool part about this position is I'm completely safe with foot locks and, and, and danger. The only thing that uh, he can do to me is an arm bar. Okay, so I'm totally safe. It's a leg lock position where I have control of his hips. I have no danger. I'm on 100% offense. And I can transition. I can go to different positions. On your back. So there's three places in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or grappling, whatever you want to call it. Dead zone. Then I, yeah, it's like a kill zone. It's an end zone it's for leg locks for me. I don't like the idea of freaking just diving for a toe hold. I certainly don't like the idea of both of us having an ankle lock on each other and just trying to win. That stuff is crazy to me. I want to be in control and know that's going to happen. So I'm going to try and also get to what I call the Sambo knot, right? So I reach underneath the knot cross my ankles and I'm completely safe. He, is, he cannot attack me in any way whatsoever. I have toe, ankle, knee, uh, heel. Uh, I can actually stretch his hips out if I pull him. A lot of guys will try and pull your arm. So I'm a complete control, okay? So you have the truck and you have the sambo knot and then you have the leg lace and there's a ton of different ways to get to it. But this position right here, I'll fall back and I'm here. 10 kind of guys I think they call us honey hole. Some guys, I know, I know this is an inside leg triangle. To me, there's, I want to have everything named. This is an inside high side heel hook. This is an outside low side heel hook. This is an outside high side heel hook. So I can tell you which hip specifically I'm on. You get what I'm saying? So I can tell you if the foot's high or low, if it's inside or outside. And let's talk leg triangles. This is an inside leg triangle. This is an outside leg triangle. It's outside our bodies. So technically, to me, this is the in, this is the inside leg triangle, but the leg lace position. I know that might be nuts to some people, but again, I'm under 100% attack. I got the far side foot lock on, right? I got heel hooks. I got the actual leg lace submission. You see me post that picture of Ian the other day? Um, so these are three positions that I'm trying to get to if I'm going to go for a leg lock, if I have an intent. I think uh, like Donnie has a cool little phrase he calls build your own system, right? For me, like having a path, having a way that you want to go, not just clapping hands and what am I going to do? You should have something in your head, especially if you're going to a tournament or an MMA fight or something. You should have a game plan, something like get to your strongest points, stay away from your weakest points. So, X guard, stand up for me one more time, we'll get back to this X guard, don't worry. So X guard is typically the, the, the back side leg is hooking the hip and the front side is hooking his knee, right? So I'm going to intentionally pull X guard like this, backwards, which is not good because finally you step right over. Yeah, he can step all the way over, right? So, but if he's on the ground, knee, knees down like butterfly. Okay, so if I'm here and I elevate him, but I do it quickly, watch this. I, instead, of, instead of my right leg coming to his knee, it's going to stay in his groin. Look, so if he lifts his groin, this leg comes around the other one. And now I'm in this position. This is probably 90% of my tap right here. That's up. You should have this. Do you have any kind of tap this <laughs> So it's like, this is my spot right here. Even if he holds my sleeve or holds my collar or anything like that, he can't stop my body holding, right? He can't stop my, he's got the knee in the way. That's what's gonna end up going. Tap. But if I had this, oh, he's even in more danger. A lot of guys like to think they're grabbing on or holding me close, but then you just yeah. pull. Yeah, it's so tight. And there's all kinds of subs from there. So like, for the white belts, it goes to like level 10 for sure, real quick on some of that stuff. For the upper belts, let's try and, uh, let's try and hit the uh, leg lace position, I call it, right? The reverse X guard, I guess, how, how we're gonna enter into it, right? So. So it's just, it's difficult when he's down there. It's difficult because by the time you're upper we've been pulling X guard a lot. We're so used to that foot hooking the leg. So sometimes it can be uh, confusing to do your legs the opposite. So I lift, keep it in the groin, send him away. Right? I already had that foot because I brought it to him, right? He is seeing the ripple. So now, now I go with this, the best guy in Belgium. Took a little bit, I took a picture on Instagram. And all of this, he's real short, he didn't come to my shoulder. 
Well, you can't tackle him like this because we're just kind of tall. You know what I mean? So he's going to immediately go to heel hooks or toe holds. Right? So for you guys that don't know the leg guys, I'm going to get underneath the far side, get the grip, clamp down, or I got the toe holds. No kind of fan. One more. Now I'm going to try and get away from them a little bit and not do it so much right underneath them. So I send them away. And then watch, I kick them away. Grab that far side foot. Over goes, you guys good with that? Yes, sir. Ready, set.